So if you watched the last video, you'll know that uh, we've got a little bit of a patchwork cool theme going on on the bike. So we have uh, delivery from these guys. Chain, some side plastics. <coughs> so check them out later. <coughs> As if my uh, numbers aren't ghetto enough. We got the patchwork quilt, patchwork quilt, gone, black again, happy days. Now we just uh, get that bad boy off and maybe put a freshy one of those in. And uh, freshy one of those and one of those as well. Great ah, success. Woo. Last two times I tried to do that has ended very poorly. So my mechanic skills are very rubbish, and uh, a little bit of patience and maybe the right uh, right tool for the job uh, goes a long way, I guess. I just got word that uh, Clarence has been cancelled for tomorrow, so pretty spewing about that. But um, anyway, I'm just uh, we're doing. Rocket replacement, don't mind the mess, we're also going to clean the garage up this weekend. Um, yeah, it's just been been a busy, busy, busy little period. So, um, got a fresh RHK chain, go on there, new sprocket, new chain, uh, we'll do the air filter, a few other bits and pieces. So, um, I'll try and film some of this. I don't know, I'm terrible with mechanical shit, so. Um, Whenever this gets posted, if someone wants to throw me advice, I'm all ears. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll try and just grab a couple of bits of footage as we go through. Cheers. Welcome to Luke's Dodgy Garage. Now you've got more chances of stripping a bolt than actually fixing something. But we're going to give this a fair crack and see if we can't do our shit sort of here. I'm gonna run some gloves, I don't know. Maybe it'll make me better at this shit. Great success, somewhat. Alright. This is what we've been running. That little guy there. Probably not that big a deal, but with my poor maintenance in general, uh, I don't know. So, nice freshy. Uh, we've dropped a, uh, dropped a tooth size to 49. So we'll see what that feels like. Um, might be able to stay in second gear a bit more, maybe, I think, so, see how it goes. Alright, let's see how we go tightening these bad boys up. This is the make it break it part of the sprocket change for me. Um, to anyone who's really good mechanically out there, you probably think of this guy as a fucking joker. Um, pretty much if it's got a hammer or a spanner involved, there's a fair chance I'm going to fuck it up, so. Um, I guess tying in with the mental health stuff, for me this is a bit of a challenge, so um, try and stay calm, try and do them up cleanly and uh, see where we, how we end up.
think we're good. <coughs> no only Loctite, but I'm just going to have to keep an eye on them, I guess, so. Um, Alright. Chain might not be so easy. We'll see what happens. Alright, we got the chain off. New ones. And then, just gonna clean some shit. So I've just got, just got back from Mark's place, um, I'm an idiot, took the camera and didn't film getting the grinder out and actually something cool to look at, but anyway, um, so, lock that bad boy up hopefully and uh, probably done for now, we'll see how we go. Just like that, we're done absolute bullshit because that was an absolute nightmare but I did better than last time so I guess the moral of the story is just keep persisting and even if you shit at it slowly you get a little bit better <sighs> might be just uh, just as easy to take it back to the bike shop I think <laughs> anyway uh, we get there in the end I've been doing work on the bike today and uh, my garage is an absolute shit show so um, here's a little before Hopefully we'll have a nice after, after because, <sighs> anyway, here we go. And just like that, we've got the gym back, we've got Toby, if you're uh, training and you feel like giving up, Toby will get you sorted. Uh, we've got a little bit of lounge space, <coughs> TV. Bike's done, ready to go riding. Pushies are actually in order. Yes, it still looks like a bit of a mess, but it's a hell of an improvement. So, uh, I don't even know if we're gonna have any riding on this vlog. Uh, I might go to the dome tomorrow, I'm not sure, but, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I just figured I'd just put a little thing on here, like, yeah, rode there last week, got all pumped up. Um, just been flat out ever since getting absolutely punished but it's all good we're up for the job so um yeah i just want to get the gym going again so we can start maybe even including that in some of this um and yeah just get this this is my little space i suppose so if i want to sit here and watch some uh some moto or uh hopefully do some workouts uh we're good to go and um yeah just another piece of the puzzle for me in uh getting the best out of my mental health uh, at all times so even when you're uh, getting belted um, you will be able to push through that some people can just do it automatically some people go through all hell of a mental battle so um, I'm somewhere in there I don't really can't really judge it because you don't know what other people are going through so um, yeah basically just a little update on the garage uh, yeah, shout out to Mark Peters for the help with the chain. Um, mate, you're always there. And then anytime anyone needs it, um, you're a legend. And yeah, that could be the end of this vlog. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I really don't know. So, sweet. Good morning. All right, it's about 5 a.m. It's about 5 a.m. Really didn't want to get out of bed. Um, I'm not a morning person. I've gotten better. But uh, bike sorted, garage is sorted. 
garage is really sorted. So we're going to try and do a little workout and try and get the show back on the road. I don't know, I just figured I'd share that I, uh, I would much rather have my head on the pillow right now. So we'll see. Just about out of time, uh, that's enough. Had to improvise on some things, the whole setup. My whole gym setup's only worth a few hundred bucks, so um, I guess the point is just get us out of bed and do something. Um, I really didn't want to get up this morning, and uh, right now I'm pretty fogged. As you said, 125 kilos, 126. Fairly unfit, uh, but I want to ride bikes. I want to be have fun with my kids and shit, so. Um, yeah, like I said, just make do with what you got. Like I said, my whole setup's a few hundred bucks off eBay. So, um, you can do it at home with the kids and that. We ran out of time to go to the gym. Not that I was ever real that good at it, but, um, yeah, just wanted to pass, pass it on to people. Like, just get up and change something every day. <laughs>